Have you ever wanted to achieve that cinematic look without breaking the bank? I mean, especially nowadays with plugins like Dehancer, which costs a fortune just to buy. I mean, 450 USD. I mean, I'm sure it's worth it, but not everyone has that kind of money. So thanks to Tom, us budget cinematographers can achieve that film look, I would say even better using his power grade. So in this video, we will take a look at Tom's new power grade, the Cineprint 35 film emulation, and see if it's really worth it. Spoiler, it it is kind of worth it. Okay, so for the price of $69, I see what you're doing there. You get a plethora of power grids for different kinds of cameras. I mean, me personally, I shoot in S-Log3 and I get a ton of options for that as well. I mean, even if you don't shoot in log, you still get a ton of options for them as well. And before this video starts, I just want to say that I am not a professional colorist by any means. I am but a beginner. I have no idea how most of these nodes work. I just keep adjusting things till it looks visually pleasing. And for the most part, the power grade does most of the color grading. So I would say like about 90%. And for that 10%, you gotta adjust bits and pieces depending on the footage, of course, and depending on the look that you're trying to go for. Well, what I like about this package is that it offers a ton of different ways to achieve that film look. I mean, just look at the options. So what I usually play with are like four or five nodes. So I start with the denoise. I turn that on, of course, but sometimes when I try to recover my footage, I tend to play around with the denoise a bit. And after I'm done with the denoise, I usually move on to the exposure, adjust it depending on the clip. Then of course the white balance. And I always, always make sure to turn on the pre-contrast. And of course I adjust the contrast from the contrast node itself. And what I love about this package is that he provides you a PDF, which basically explains the node structure of the power grade and how you can use it to the best of your abilities. I mean, as a beginner myself, he sort of expects you to know certain things. So don't go into it expecting that he will teach you, let's say, what's the difference between white balance and exposure. But he always keeps you updated, which is very nice. He has a YouTube channel, which you can follow along. And for the most part, again, it's not too much work. You save a ton of time. Once you've exposed your footage well, fixing it in post isn't you don't need to do much in post, if you know what I mean. And sometimes I do like to adjust the saturation and also the halation as well. I sometimes swap the 35mm halation with the 16. I prefer the 16 sometimes. I also always turn on the pastel node. It washes out the colors, giving it that film look. And one thing I usually turn off is the grain. I'm not that much of a grain guy. In fact, I, I dislike grain very much. So when it comes to color grading, I usually turn that off. Of course, that is up to your preference. He has 4K and HD grain, so you can always pick and choose which is nice and that's pretty much it the rest of the nodes you can pretty much figure out what they do while you're playing around and for the price of 69 usd there's no subscription involved it's a one-time payment and i feel like it's worth it if you want to save a ton of time color grading and you want to achieve that film look without using the enhancer i feel like this is the best option out there in fact i would say that this sort of beats the enhancer in certain aspects as always i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you i don't know when